Hey guys, it's Fleet here, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at how you can make a verification channel for your Discord server. Verification is important in Discord servers, and it protects both you and your community from unwanted guests, such as bots, and also alt accounts, and a big one, server raids. I just want to say thank you to those who have sent kind responses, and I'm happy that you have found these videos useful, and that you're enjoying the things that I post. Anyways, let's continue with the video. So there are multiple bots which you can use for verification, and there are different things which you can set up. You can have it so you can type specific text to get verified, but in today's video, we're just going to be looking at how you can make the reactant version, because it's a lot easier to do. Now the bot we're going to be using is YagPDB, so make sure to invite him to the server by clicking the link in the description and selecting which server you are using. So once the bot is in your server, you want to make a channel which you can have your verify message in, such as the verify channel. Then you're going to want to go into the roles section, so in server settings, roles, and you want to create two roles, one being unverified and the other verified. You can colour these and name them whatever you want, but to make this easier, I'm just going to use these as an example. Then make sure that the YAGPDB role is higher than the verified and unverified role, else this won't work. So make sure to save changes, and once you've done that, we're going to go and head over to YAGPDB's website. So here you need to make sure that you have the correct server and that you're logged into the correct account. Then you're going to want to scroll down until you can find auto role, and you're going to want to click change settings here. Once you click that, it should open you to this page. So now you're going to set up a role which you'll get when you join the server. So click on auto role and you want to select the role to be unverified. Then make sure the minutes is at zero and that these two selections are non-selected. Then you want to tick this box down here so that they lose the role when they react with the verified role. Then you want to make sure to click save. Now you're going to want to go back to the home screen and scroll down until you can find role commands and then click change settings here. It should then open you to this page and what you're going to want to do is create a new group and you're going to call this verification just to make things a little easier. Then you want to select the mode as single, none selected on both of these and then leave everything as it is but just create the new group. So as you can see here it's just created the group down here and now you're going to add roles to go into that group. So we're just going to add one which is going to be verified. So you're going to make the role verified. Make sure it's in the correct group which you just created, verification, and then the role they're going to get which is verified. Don't select any of these things as they're not necessary. And then you just want to create the role command. And there you have it. It's just added it to the group. So now you want to make sure everything is saved by clicking these green boxes. As you can see, saved, success, and then you want to go into Discord. So once you're back in Discord, you want to go to the verify channel and you want to type this command in dash role menu create and the name of the group so verification as you can see it's sent this message and now all you have to do is just react with an emoji as the reactant so to make things easier i'm just going to use the preferred one i use which is the green check mark so once i've done that as you can see, it's just made the menu appear, and all you have to do is just remove the messages you don't need. So the command, and also this message here. So there you can see, it's made the menu for you. Now, I'm going to show you on my test account that this works. So, I just invited my test account. As you can see, it's got the unverified role as soon as I join. Now, if I move to that account, you can see this is the other account. It opens the verify channel. Now, if you want to remove, obviously, the channels that you don't want the people to see when they're unverified, you can just change the permissions. So you go to the verified channel, and you can see the messages here. And all you have to do is just tick that box. As you can see, I get the message from YagPDB telling me I got the verified role. And if I look in the server, I have the verified role. So that's all for today's video. I know it's a short one, but I think it gives an easy and clear demonstration for you guys to easily follow. If you found this video useful, make sure to smash that like button as it allows my video to get recommended in the YouTube algorithm. Also, subscribe as it's free and you're not going to want to miss out on some of my next videos as they're going to be crazy.
The shout out for today's video goes to Krispy Kreme. As you can see here, they've posted a few videos and they deserve some support. So let's see if we can get them to 20 subscribers. Thanks so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.